Sam's Club, Liquid Death. Yeah. What the hell is that? The water. I just got me some books I just came in, about to open them up, add to the collection. Got a knife, so look ghetto. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, but now um, these books I ordered, I'm just trying to take like a different step because really all the books I be reading is like nonfiction. But I got one book that is fiction. It's called the uh, The Alchemist. This is a good book. I ain't gonna lie. It talks about a young shepherd who's just out trying to figure out what his passionate well not what his passion is but what his you know his purpose is in life and all the trials he had to do and all the little false missteps that made him think that the thing he was doing was really his passion but it was something like in his heart just kept touching him kept bothering him telling him keep going forget this i know you're doing good in this but keep going there's something better out there for you but yeah i'm trying to step away from the life lessons type of book because um you know I wanna, you know, have a little fun while reading. I still have fun reading the life lesson book and the 
you know, just stuff about life in general. But, you know, I'm trying to get into like storytelling and all that because, you know, I'm just trying to expand my horizon. So we got this book, One of Us is Right. Oh, One of Us is Lying. Um, I really didn't read much about the book. I really, every time I look for a book, I either just go on YouTube, look for like highly book reviews, highly rated. Or I just go on Amazon, just look for a book and go look at the reviews and see how everybody's feeling about it. But um, I got this one from YouTube though. They're saying this is a good book. It got a lot of twists and like, oh my gosh, I didn't know he did it. Like, you know, it's a lot of mystery. I like, I like mystery books. I don't even know why I got this one, but this one's called The Song of Achilles or Achilles or Achilles, one of those. Yeah, but I really like knowing about the, you know, the Greek gods and the Romans, Hercules and all that. Song of Achilles. And last but not least, we got a little, um, a lesson book, nonfiction. It's called Courage to be Disliked. I really didn't read no reviews over this. Really, when I saw it on Amazon, it said the courage to be disliked, and um, I don't know, that really popped out to me, because, you know. A lot of people is really scared of rejection or people not liking them, and, you know, I just want to read and just see, you know, what's the science behind it, or, you know, what's this guy way of thinking about it? You know, I'm just curious to see what people with different views is about, you know, tremendous topics that really affect people's mental. Dude, my eyes, oh my, hold on, I need some eye drops. All right, that's a lot better. But really, I'm um, probably gonna start off with this book. Um, yeah, really I like to knock out a chapter a day every time I read, or if I really like the book, I'll probably go for two chapters or however long I feel like it, but a chapter is like the least I'm trying to go. So yeah, definitely gonna read this one. And if I got time, definitely read this one. Um, take a chapter a day out of each these two and hopefully I get this done in like a month or two. Or if I really try, I can really get both of these done in a month, but we'll see. And let me think. And if y'all really want a good book to read right now that um really gets you thinking about, you know, how you be going through your days and all that, I got I got just one for you. It's called I Didn't Do the Thing Today. And basically the book just talk about how you just go through your days, how people make routines and all that. And sometimes they don't stick with them and then they, you know, really beat themselves up over it. And just, you know, this book, you know, it just tells you like ways to cope for it or it's not really that deep sometimes or how to think of it a different way or just being grateful that you're even alive and just doing things that some people can't. It just makes you really think about stuff like that. It even give you like um, different steps and processes to hit routines in a different way. Cause you might be hitting the same routine every day, every day, every day. And it gets boring to you and you just end up giving up on it and going back to your old ways. It's good to switch up your routine. Just try something different. Same routine every day. It is good. It, it does build discipline, but if you're still doing the same routine, but doing it different ways, it's still the same thing. In my opinion, discipline will be there, but this is a good book. You talk about limitations. Every day, people try to get all their tasks done, try to get everything they got done out of their checklist. And if they don't get it done, they'll feel some type of way about it. But there's importance to limitations that people need to figure out. If you do everything all in one day and get all your goals knocked out in one day, the next day won't be that exciting. You, you need a limitation in your day so you be excited for the next day. And um, where is it at? Right here. It's talking. It's, really talks about it like in just one sentence that make you just think about it. If we reached a point where we checked every box, life might be complete, but it will also be over. Limitations make life worth living. I got a new shelf up there. Um, You probably didn't see me install it in one of my videos. It's probably in one of my shorts I uploaded, but if you just watch strictly the videos, then you just know I only got like one shelf for books. But, got ourselves a second level now. 
Uh, yeah, I got tired of putting my books on top of the other books because before I got this shelf put back in, um, I had the books like this and it was really just getting crowded. Where my hat went? Oh, yeah, it was just really getting crowded. So uh, this second level really gonna help things out. <sighs> And right now, currently, um, I'm reading this book right now, but I ain't gonna lie, it's not really popping out to me. Really, so far in it, um, it's just talking about Phil Knight, the founder of Nike. He's just in the middle of the process of losing his company right now, and he's about to, you know, take a leap of faith from something. But it's, I don't know, it's really not that popping to me. It's just, I like to finish books. So if somebody ever asks me, you know, how this book is, I can give them like a full review over it, kind of type. Give him a full review over it type stuff. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm a PR man, I'm a PR guy.